look at how to reverse a string. So to do all this work, we're just going to do it right in the DevTools. So we're going to open that up with Command Option I. I'm here on a Mac, and uh, I've got the console open here. So let's just start with the string. So string backwards, and we want to just flip this string. So instead of backwards, it'll be S D R A W whatever. Um, there's a few different approaches we could do this, um, but the uh, console here is actually going to help us out when we're doing that work. So if I just put a dot here, you can see these are all the methods, uh, the string methods that I have access to. And so probably the most common strategy here will be using split. So I can see here that split is a function. If I call that function, I've got a separator that I call it with. So if I call string split with just an empty string, and then I hit enter, you can see I've got every single instance of, or every letter in my string now as an item in an array. And I can start to do some fancy work on that. Um, another strategy I, I learned recently was using object values. And you can actually pass a string to the object constructor and it will try and uh, turn that into um, an object that can work. So if you do object values and you pass it the string, we get that same array that we did before. Uh, oh, I missed the S from there. So there, same as, uh, same arrays as before. So whichever uh, strategy makes sense to you, I'm gonna do object values just because that one's weirder. And why not? So I'm gonna do backwards. Cool. Uh, now, now that I'm dealing with an array, if I hit a dot again, I can see all the array methods that I can choose from. And the one that I'm interested in is this one right here, reverse. So reverse, we can see right here, it's a function. So we call that function. And uh, the console lets us know that we now have all of those letters, all the items in our array just flipped this time around. Uh, so I enter, cool, I've got this new, new thing. Um, now what I need to do is I need to take this array and I need to force it into uh, a string again. So easy way to do that. Uh, using the dot, you can see we're still doing with arrays here. If I do join, and this time I join with no separator, I've got my string moved back, uh, totally backwards. So object values, pass it the string, reverse that, and then join it. And if we want to do it with split, which is a good option too, let's just paste, take this example right there. We're gonna do the same thing, reverse, which will change it in place or return a new one and then join on the separator. And if I hit enter here, cool, I get the same result. So whichever strategy you want, both of them will work for you. Cool, hope that was helpful.